of what it is, but then at the same time, like start thinking about and, and jotting down uh, what it is that you love about being a strength and conditioning coach. Is it the camaraderie with the, with the people that you work with? Is it uh, your ability to make, like for me, like the strength and conditioning thing was fun, but I thought it was the coolest thing ever to get rid of somebody's pain or if they had like muscle tension or something, I could, there was something I could do about it. The big task today is making sure that my presentation on the virtual training workshop is on point. Uh, so we're gonna do our last, our last brainstorm session here. We got the index cards, got the Trello board up. Uh, and we're gonna, the, the, the big one that I wanna hit on today is how do you sell a virtual training workshop or a virtual training session package, whatever, uh, to your clients who may be skeptical about it and how do you show them that there's actual value in there. So uh, I'm gonna hit this brainstorm now and start putting together the presentation. If you're doing the same stuff that you did from a personal training standpoint and you're now just doing that online, you're going to lose. The environment is different, the energy is different, the feel is different, and if you're not upping your game and uh, making some sort of transition into creating a uh, virtual training package of some sort, uh, it's 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 going to fail. You're going to lose, uh, and this is your virtual training. Uh, your virtual training product service can't sustain. what it is but then at the same time like start thinking about and, and jotting down uh what it is that you love about being a strength and conditioning coach is it the camaraderie with the with the people that you work with is it uh, your ability to make like for me like the strength and conditioning thing was fun but i thought it was the coolest thing ever to get rid of somebody's pain or if they had like muscle tension or something i could there was something i could do about it uh, i thought that was way cooler than than improving somebody's squat um and you know, and then I then what I found was that I really loved the science aspect of it. Uh, so then I started uh, digging in on science, and then I was like, well, maybe I should be an educator because this is what that is. And then it's just you know, it's blossomed all the way through there. So you know, I would really try to turn the turn the lens inside and see what you know what it is what is it about strength and conditioning that that you love and that really drives you. <laughs> I've been asked a lot lately about how to create nice presentations uh, and we'll just give you a little look at what we have here. So uh, when we go down, what you're gonna see is just not a lot of text, right? We just have like big sentences uh, where I'm really highlighting the point, uh, right? Step one is commit, like like this very obvious, we're getting at it, grabby pictures that are, uh, that could potentially pull some emotion out of you. Um, and just like, just like this is the most, this is like the textiest, uh, the textiest uh, slide that I've had in a really long time. Uh, you really just want to avoid that because uh, A, it's boring. Uh, you don't want to really read off of the slides if you can from like bullet to bullet just because you're really acting as an entertainer when you are uh, giving a presentation of any sort. So 
uh, big pictures, little text, and whatever text is on there, make it really pop, make it really easy to understand. And specifically in a webinar format, you gotta go that extra mile because it's even harder to keep their attention. It's even harder to uh, get them to be locked in and bought, bought in the entire time. So you wanna do a lot of things like, uh, you wanna have them do a lot of things like, uh, 60 second challenges and activities and stuff like that uh, in order to keep them engaged, focused, uh, and resonating with the material. Otherwise we're just out here wasting our own damn time.